this is Tracy HD, and I want to thank you for joining me today for our weekly Oracle and Tarot card reading. You can use this as a pick a card reading, one, two, and three, or a blended reading for the entire week, the beginning, uh, middle, and end. As I shuffle the deck, I'm asking all light beings, angels, and God, please relay the message I need to share with my viewers, the highest good of all. And these are the chakra reading cards. If you'd like to purchase these, there is a link in the description box down below. Click on it. We'll take you right to Amazon. And for the beginning of the week, I'll take the top card or card number one. Middle of the week or card number two will be the center. And the end of the week or card number three will be the bottom card. Okay, and let's see what we have here. So, begin the week or card number one is grounding. Number four. And how beautiful is that? Yes, we can all use some grounding. And I have to remind myself every day to stay grounded, stay calm. Can't control everything. Just do the best you can. Getting outside in nature is what I think of when I see this uh, card with these roots of the tree going down into the ground. Um, and you've attracted this card into your world today as a sign that it's time to get grounded. You may have been feeling a little scattered with your thoughts and feelings and finding it difficult to focus and concentrate. Maybe you're feeling stressed and busy due to the many demands on you and you're finding it difficult to create and manifest positive outcomes and experiences in your life. And, you know, we've all been there myself. I've felt overwhelmed uh, quite recently with all of the responsibilities, just taking care of things around my home and appointments and, and whatnot. And, you know, just know that you're not alone. Um, this is a very common feeling and it's easy to get caught up in the whirlwind and craziness that surrounds you. There is a light at the end of the tunnel for you. And the best thing for you right now is to get centered and grounded. The most powerful way to do this is to align with and reconnect with Mother Earth. So you're encouraged to take some time in nature and receive the abundance of energy and, and magic that is out in nature. I mean, I go outside as much as I can. This is the best medicine for our soul right now. So you may like to spend some time at the beach if you live near a beach or go for a walk in the woods, uh, visit a, a lovely waterfall or a favorite place in nature where you feel at peace. You know, sit on the ground and, and feel completely grounded and centered. Uh, when you're grounded, you feel a deep connection with yourself and everything around you. And then card number two or the middle of the week is card number eight. And it is abundance. And this red color is really, really like courageous and, and very bold. So when I see the color red, I think of someone who is, you know, um, how could I say courageous <laughs> and this card is a reminder that abundance is available for you at all times and it is your natural state of being to resonate at the expansive vibration of abundance um, and the world and the universe is abundant of energy which is available to each and every one of us at every moment of the day. If you've been stuck in a conscious state of not being able to attract and manifest your heart's desires, know that the door of abundance is wide open and inviting you to step inside. You are a co-creator with the universe and can manifest in abundance anything you require at any time. Um, if the bills have been piling up and there seems to be a lack of finances to go around, know that abundance is at hand. Abundance comes in many forms, not just money. It could be love, joy, gratitude. Um, they're all surrounding you at this time. Uh, take a moment today to tune in and feel and acknowledge the abundance in your life. And I'll tell you, when we're grateful, you truly attract more grateful things into your life to be grateful for. So, you know, even though you may be lacking whatever it is in, in each one of you, it's going to be a different situation. Focus on the things that are going good. Focus on the things that you do have to be grateful for. Um, and I'll tell you, it will change your, your entire energy. Um, you know, become aware of how maybe you might be sabotaging or shutting yourself off um, to the energy that, you know, you're required to allow in to flow. Um, you may wish to ask your angels for help to clear any blockages, do a meditation or even work with crystals like citrine or jade. You're deserving of abundance in your life now and always. It's your natural birthright. Abundance is showering its blessings upon you now and always. So be open to receive this light. 
And the third card, card number three, or the end of the week, is card 24, listening, listening. And a lot of times we don't listen. We jump in and answer people's questions or answer them before they even ask. I know myself, sometimes I could get really wound up. Um, but this card is telling us that it's time to take note and listen. You know, messages and guidance come in many forms and you're being asked to stop for a moment and listen to the wisdom that's coming your way. You may have asked for a sign or some guidance recently. The answer will be revealed if you listen carefully. The most profound guidance comes from within and it's time to start listening and trusting your own soul. Take some time to meditate and explore the silence in order to hear the powerful words of divine guidance coming from within you. Your angels and guides are also sharing their thoughts with you at this time. You know, when I see triple digits, I know that that's a message from the angelic realm to something that's on my mind um, or something that I'm doing that maybe I need to stop doing. Um, the messages and signs are everywhere. But like I said, you know, we could get so wound up, myself included. <laughs> I could be on overdrive and I could work myself to the ground, which is a very bad habit of overworking. And when we're doing that, we're not conscious of the signs and synchronicities around us. So this card, I believe, is also telling us to slow down, you know, to slow down and, you know, listen carefully to what's being presented to you at this time. The card also suggests that you're not listening deep enough at present. And it could be that someone is sharing how they feel or their perception of a situation and you've not been listening with an open heart, which may be causing miscommunication, challenges and conflict. Uh, people will always have different perceptions and experiences, and it's important to allow both sides of the story to be heard and expressed. When we can understand this and not take people's expressions personally, we can be open to a world of unconditional love and communicate more from a place of love and understanding. So listen deeper in the silence and your answers will be revealed in divine timing. And this card is perfect for the end of the week. It's the weekend where you have more leisure time. Maybe go out in nature. Maybe do some breathing meditations, uh, maybe sit in the morning in meditation for a few minutes before you start your day or at the end of the day to quiet your mind. It's good to sit in meditation, whatever gets you grounded, whatever allows you to connect with your intuition uh, is going to help you find the answers within. So if some of you out there are perplexed with a problem and you just can't seem to find the answer, look for the signs and synchronicities. Um, even animals that cross our path have a spiritual message. Beautiful, beautiful week. If you've enjoyed this reading, please like it by giving it a thumbs up, share it, and above all, subscribe because I will be back with more.